Hey, thanks very much for helping me with the survey. I want to share with you some very early survey results so far. Only about 100 or so people have gone through this survey and I just wanted to shoot this video for you real quick to show the direction we are heading. So the winner so far in the most interested topic people want to learn about is stealth selling, persuasion and NLP which is very interesting. Second place by a small margin is how to convert people into buyers which if you think about it is very much connected with selling persuasion and NLP and finally is premium position and branding and right now I want to share with you a strategy which has helped me do all three of those things simultaneously. Now, Not surprisingly everyone hates all the difficult things about internet marketing like building the website, getting traffic, finding a product to sell but they love the good part about seeing your business grow. So I'm now going to take you to a video which shows you why Internet Marketing 101 no longer works and leaves people frustrated and broke. This video also shows you how you can fix that problem. Watch it right now to the end, I know you will like it. Uh, we're going to take you through an example of what not to do in internet marketing business. Okay, So this is going to be just a quick tutorial on what happens in the industry. So many times people come to me uh, and I coach them, my students, they say, Mark, this is what I've been taught. This is the only thing I know. This is what the industry teaches for internet marketing. So if this is going to look familiar to you, if you've ever done internet marketing or tried to give it a go and this is, this is what you've done, um, it's going to sound familiar, feel familiar, and look familiar. If you've never done this, again, this will just be a quick tutorial on what not to do. And again, as Chris and I talked about from the beginning, we're going to dispel some things that are being taught in the industry and we're going to reignite the way, the right way to do them for you with the iPass 2 system. So if you don't mind, we're going to whiteboard this out here. We're going to go real quick and then I'm going to do some math just to show you and prove to you how this uh, is not the way to do it. But with any internet marketing business, some of this stuff is going to remain the same and some of this is what we use with iPass, but as a whole, uh, it doesn't work, it's antiquated, and you'll get to see how that works. First thing we need for internet marketing, exactly what it's been taught, is that um, we need traffic, we need people to come see our website. We call it traffic. Okay? That is the number one step in Internet Marketing 101. We need eyeballs to come see our website, see what we've got to sell. Okay. The next step in Internet Marketing, as it's taught to us, is to get leads. Okay. Now what this is, is what the industry will call, they call it a squeeze page or a capture page. You may have seen these in the past. You go to the website and it's asking you for information in order to see what the next thing is. Typically it wants to know your email address. Sometimes it wants to know your name. Sometimes it wants to know your email address, your name, and maybe your phone number. Information like that. It says, tell us who you are before I show you what's next. Okay, it's called a squeeze page. Very common. We put emails into this and then we're able to see. So from this get leads, the very next step in internet marketing is to sell stuff. I mean, that's let's face it, that's what we're trying to do here. Okay, so our business that we're in is to sell stuff. So we try to get people to come to our website, then we get their information, and then we give them a sales page or a sales video that does selling and telling that tries to sell whatever it is that we've got for sale. And uh, a couple things on the sell stuff. There's a couple ways that you can do this in your world. If you own the products, you, you actually own them and produce them yourself, you can sell those. Very common though is to become an affiliate, which means there's other companies in the world that want help from us or you to sell their stuff. And we enter into an affiliate agreement with them and then, then when we start marketing their products, uh, my students, I say, well, great, if you have the ability to be an affiliate with this company, how much, uh, after you sell the product, how much do you keep? Very common, I hear from 30, 40, sometimes 50% of the money, uh, sometimes a little bit more, but I'm going to use for this example on, on an affiliate relationship with another company, usually it's around a 50-50 split. That means you sell their product, they keep half, and then they give half to you. Now, uh, very common in internet marketing is that if people don't sell stuff, what they teach us 
is to email them back. It says, hey, we thought you gave us your information here because you wanted to buy our stuff. Turns out you didn't want to buy our stuff, so we bombard you with these emails. Now, there's an industry uh, products out there. They all do a great job. They're important. They're called autoresponders, okay? It's just a type of software that takes their lead information and says, why haven't you bought our stuff? So we keep sending them emails back. Now, let's run a little bit of math for some numbers here through this scenario. And now you're really going to see where this whole system as a whole is antiquated and broke. It doesn't work, okay? I'm going to use really good, easy round numbers. Let's just say we were to get a thousand people to come to our website and see what it is that we wanted to talk about. So let's say that we've got a thousand people that come to our website. Statistical facts are of these thousand people, when they see that squeeze page that says, hey, what's your email address? Approximately 20 to 30% of that group is going to give us their email to see what we're selling. Let's just be optimistic. I'll use 30%. Okay, so 30% of 1,000 is 300 people, all right? So now we've got these 300 people that are going to listen to what we've got to sell. Here's where the rub comes, all right? Of these 300 people that actually end up buying our stuff, here's the number. Yes, that is 1.5% of the 300 people actually end up buying our stuff. Okay, so if we do the math on 300, one and a half percent is four and a half. Let's just call it five sales. Now, let's talk a little bit about where this might be broken. Let's talk a little bit about these leads here. Let's talk a little bit about these 300 people. Let's talk a little bit about this 30%. Is there anybody other than me that when you're looking at a squeeze page online and it says what's your email address, is there anybody other than me that puts in fake information? Okay, it's a problem with the industry the way it's taught. Okay, there's many, many people here that smoke screen us. So the fact is, is that we're seeing a number that says of the thousand people, 700 of them don't actually go any farther, but 30% of them do. But of the 30%, the 300, actually, it's much less than that that we actually capture or get their lead information because they just don't want to give it to us. Okay, they're playing the same game we are. It's an industry standard that's being broke because people don't want to be bothered by all of these emails if they don't buy the stuff that we're trying to sell. Okay, so let's keep going with the math though. Let's just say our product here that we're selling is an affiliate. Let's say it's a $100 product and we're at a 50-50 split. And if it's $100 and I've got five sales of a $100 product and I can make $50 per sale because it's a 50-50 split, I have five sales at $50, I make $250. Okay? So, I've got $250. Let me clean this up a little bit here. I've got $250 in my pocket because I've made sales, all right? Here's the rub. If you're doing traffic and you've had to pay for traffic and you've paid for advertising, industry standard similar or you know, it's it's a it's a it's a fair dollar amount is it's it's x cents per click over here. Usually this might cost you for your 1000 people, this might cost you about $700 worth of advertising to get 300 leads to get five sales to make $250. <laughs> You're already figuring this is a losing scenario, but this is what's taught. Here's what happens. Here comes the industry and they say, hey, Mark, look, here's what your problem is. If you're going to do internet marketing, you need more traffic. You got to be able to get more traffic. So along comes some advertiser that says, hey, if you're an industry, you're an internet marketer, you need more traffic. If you had more people seeing your website, then you'd have more people buying your stuff, right? So look, I like traffic. Traffic's good. I, I think it's great. I'm okay to hear how do I get more traffic? But guess what? You still got to pay for traffic. It does not fix this problem here because look, people are smokescreening us here. You know it. I've done it. I know other people that do it. They just put in fake information because they don't want to be bothered over here. Okay? So if I have to go get more traffic, it doesn't help my conversions and it sure as heck doesn't help my conversions here because this one and a half percent is very constant.
So here's one more rub that the industry comes along and says, hey Mark, you need a new product. The problem you've got here with your whole internet marketing business is the stuff you're selling is only selling at one and a half percent. The problem you've got is your affiliate relationship with whoever you're selling their stuff. And then all these other companies start talking in your ear saying, listen, come on over and sell my stuff because my juice is so much sweeter. My stuff is so much better than the stuff you're only making one and a half percent sales conversions. So then all of a sudden my students, they come to me, they say, Mark, well, I got to get a new affiliate relationship. I got to get this product, this product, this product, this product. I got to sell all this other different stuff. I say, well, that doesn't help your conversions. It doesn't help here on the squeeze pages. And it sure as heck is not going to get you more. It's just going to end up that way. And here come more emails. Welcome to the life that does not work as currently taught. It's antiquated. At iPass 2, Chris is going to take us through what we've done to fix all this stuff. And it's going to shock you. It's going to amaze you. It's going to get you excited because we have fixed this. In fact, let's just take this as a group, a whole. I'm going to make a, uh, I'll make a crummy looking garbage can. But let's just throw this in the dumpster. Get it out of here. We do not need this. This entire product as a whole, we're just going to throw it away. Just don't go there anymore. It's not a system that we endorse here at iPass. We've improved on it. We've seen the gaps. We've seen the holes. We've seen why this does not work. Okay, You're in a good spot. You're in good hands because the system that Chris is going to show us on the whiteboard next, I'll hand the marker over to him. He's going to get this thing and show you exactly how the math gets improved and exactly how we're going to be able to put money in your pocket using the new system. Okay, So I know you're going through this trial offer and things are looking pretty good so far, so I hope you liked it. But um, let's just keep this thing going here. Uh, I appreciate you guys marching along and hearing me out here. And I hope this makes sense to you as to how Internet Marketing 101 these days is antiquated and old and just doesn't work. Okay, If this is where you've been, it's okay. It's not your fault. You just were taught wrong. Okay, It's a new ride now, guys. Get excited. This is going to be fun. We'll see you. This is, again, this is Mark. See you.